Hey guys, real quick, I want to show you this new mount that I made to attach our Blackstone griddle to our travel trailer. Now this travel trailer came with a 17 inch griddle and a mount, but that was much too small. I tried to attach our larger Blackstone to that mount. It was not going to hold up to the weight. Now I wanted something that would not only attach to the bumper, but I wanted something that would adjust in height. So this is what I come up with. Check it out. Okay, so I started here. This is a bumper mount receiver for an RV. It's a four inch bumper mount receiver. Now, these things are made obviously to go off the back so that you can utilize it from the rear, but uh, I needed it to come off the side here and I needed it to be four inches side to side to fit this bumper. I bought an off-brand first. The off-brand was not four inches side to side. It was front to back, but not side to side. This is an Easy Lift brand. Easy Lift brand, I, I was able to purchase off Amazon as well, but it does work. And uh, this is where I started. I wanted to come off the side here at our outdoor kitchen. Okay, then I went with this. This is a drop hitch. It's made to raise or lower your trailer hitch once you have it in the receiver. Now, this is a very inexpensive one. It's not made to hold a lot of weight. We didn't need it to hold a lot of weight because it's gonna hold a griddle. But uh, this one, I can raise it or I can flip it over. I can turn this thing upside down just like that. And if this trailer or camper was parked on an uneven campsite and the front was very low and the back was really high, I would need to flip this thing over like that and I could lower that griddle down to those last two holes. Okay, I got the mount turned up on its side. This is part of an old Blackstone table uh, that came with our Blackstone. I took it apart, took the legs off of it and mounted the top part to a piece of two inch square tubing. And this is two pieces of angle that are welded together to fit around the drop hitch. That's all that is, two inch square tubing. Okay, as you can see here, I have it attached to the drop hitch. I've got it in the top two holes. The top two holes are as high as I can get it. If the rear of the camper were much higher, I could flip that drop hitch over and make quite a bit of adjustment. Now this is the tabletop. Like I said, it came with the Blackstone. I just took the legs off of it. I attached it to the two inch square tubing with self-tapping screws, just three self-tapping screws. And if you're curious about this, I didn't drill any holes to hook our spatulas and stuff to. I just have two magnets that I bought at Harbor Freight and they just sit right on top of it. Okay, here it is attached. And man, I'm telling you, we've got a lot of use out of this thing already. And it's just resting. Like I said, the griddle is resting on top of that table with the four legs in those holes. And it does not move enough to come off. You don't have to worry about this thing bouncing off. Now don't try to drive down the road with it, but other than that, it's not going anywhere. Okay, last but not least, a very important part, this. I did away with our regulator and bought this to attach straight to the Blackstone. It goes, this is the factory hose that came with the camper, hooks right in. And now it's ready to go. I think this piece was about 15 bucks. I'll put the links to everything I used in the description below. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to share this idea with you. Just wanted to show you the mount that I made for our Blackstone. It works great for us. It might be something that can work for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. All right, guys, that's it. <coughs> All right, guys, that's it. <coughs> Good Lord. All right, guys, that's it. <coughs> Are you kidding? <coughs> Froggy. I don't like Froggy. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> and I laugh at myself.